Welcome back to Philosophy Daily. I am so happy to have you guys watching here today. The Aristotle series is going, the meditation series is going. I'll leave links to those down below and one of them up top right now. You don't want to miss those. But today we have another episode in the Epictetus series. Today is a very deep quote from the discourses that I'm really excited to share with you guys. As always, if you like the content, subscribe, hit the bell. If you disagree or think I left something out, go down in the comments and let me know. I love hearing y'all's opinion here on this channel. That's what this is about. This channel is a community for you guys, not for me. And with that being said, I want to be here for each and every one of you guys the people that watch my videos if you ever need anything if you just need somebody to talk to i am always available down below in the comments and if you want to reach out to me personally my personal email is down below in the description box do not hesitate to reach out to me it's absolutely free Before I get into the quote here, there's an important context that you guys need to know about this quote. So Epictetus is talking to the father of a young girl, right? And this father can't stand to be around his sick daughter. So he actually walks out from his daughter when she's sick, right? She could die. He can't take it. He walks out and he thinks he's doing the right thing. If we saw things differently, we would act differently in line with our different idea of what is right and wrong. This then was the cause of Achilles' lamentations, not the fact that Patroclus died, since other people don't carry on so when a friend or companion dies, but the fact that he chose to lament. The same cause lies behind your desertion of your daughter. You thought it was a good idea at the time. Conversely, if you stay with her, it would be for the same reason. Now you are about to return to Rome. That is your decision. But if it changes, you won't go. In other words, it isn't death, pain, exile, or anything else you care to mention that accounts for the way we act. Only our opinions about death, pain, and the rest. Well, have I convinced you of this or not? You have, the man said. As the cause is, so is the result. Whenever we do something wrong then, from now on we will not blame anything except the opinion on which it's based, and we will try to root out wrong opinions with more determination than we remove tumors or infections from the body. So now I'm gonna tell you guys what I believe the meaning of this quote is, right? So he starts off the quote by saying, if we saw things differently, we would act differently. And again, this is extremely useful advice, but actually putting this into practice is hard, especially when it comes to my life, right? And I'm sure you guys will notice this too. If you're going through a struggle, and you see it as this big struggle, it's hard to change your mindset right in the moment because you see it as this overwhelming struggle. How can you change your mindset to a more positive one, right? When this awful thing happened to you, it feels so overwhelming. It feels like you screwed up everything, okay? Maybe you lost your job or something awful like that happened, guys. That's happening all over the world, especially right now with the whole virus situation and all the crazy stuff going on, right? But he's saying, he's reminding us that we can see these obstacles differently, right? We can see them as a positive light. We can see them as something that we can learn from and become better from. He then further says that it's our opinions about things that cause our actions, right? So if we have this awful opinion about something, it's going to alter what we ultimately do, right? But if we have a positive opinion, if we have a good opinion about something, it's gonna change the way we act in a better way, right? So he's saying if we adopt a new mindset 
going into things. It's gonna change our opinions on things and it's ultimately going to lead to better things in our lives because instead of seeing everything negatively all the time, we're gonna be able to put a positive spin on it. Even if we lose our jobs, we screw up something, all right? We break our leg or something, we'll be able to put a positive spin on it. And honestly, guys, I struggle with this one a lot, right? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, I have this perfected because I absolutely do not. But let's say you have an obstacle going on in your life. What, what I do is I'm like, well, I can't be positive because it's a negative thing, right? But being negative doesn't help the situation. It makes the situation worse, right? If I sit around and bemoan the situation and am negative about it, I bring myself down to a place where I don't even need to be in the first place. But these things that I can't change, I can put a positive mindset in these situations and it's gonna help me, one, overcome these obstacles and two, it's gonna help me learn and become a better person. And through that, I will build myself up more and more and more for more intense struggles later on down the line. Because, right, we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Something serious might happen tomorrow. So we need to be prepared for that. That's what Epictetus is saying here. And then he says, whenever we do do something wrong, because it's inevitable that we're gonna screw up, we're gonna do something wrong, right? That's what he's saying. We're gonna mess up stuff, we're human beings. He's saying when we do mess up something, we are going to, with all our might, get rid of these awful opinions get rid of these faulty impressions of things right we are going to put a positive spin on things and when we do screw up because we're going to screw up don't beat yourself up about it right that's what he's saying but get rid of the awful impression get rid of those bad opinions right don't beat yourself up don't look back at the past but get rid of those awful opinions and awful impressions and that's again guys that advice is so useful, but putting it into practice in my life proves to be extremely difficult. And I'm sure I'm not alone, but I've noticed the more and more I try, the more and more effort and the more and more focus I put into this area of my life, the, more, the better I get at having a better opinion and a better outlook and a better perception of things right because it's like anything you have to practice it and for me i'm extremely rooted in my habituation of being negative about absolutely everything so being positive takes a lot of effort for me but the more and more i do it i feel it getting a little bit easier and a little bit easier not by much every time but over a while it does make a difference so that's something that i've been trying to work on and it's something that i've learned from epictetus and i think it is a great thing to share with the world if you guys disagree with me or anything i had to say or think i left something out go down in the comments and let me know i'm only human right i may have left something out or screwed something up if you enjoyed today's content go down in the comments and let me know subscribe hit the bell so you don't miss anything as always, I'm always available in the comments section of these videos. If you just need somebody to talk to, just need a friend, I am always available. My personal email will be left down below. Do not hesitate, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day.